this is Andrea with Sucks For You in Houston, Texas. And this sucks for me because I saw an ant on the rainbow cactus here. And on closer inspection, not even that close, it has mealy bugs on it. And so what I'm gonna do is what really sucks about this plate is how dense the spines are. It's like really hard to get all the way down in there. And in fact, I had one of these several years ago and I lost it to a really bug infection. Not infection, but yeah, infestation. Um, so first what I'm going to do is try and just manually remove what I can with some tweezers. And of course it's going to stay isolated away from the other plants and I'm just mad. I don't want to deal with this crap. It's too hot. Too hot for this Oof. Yeah, and I'm gonna like trash all this. Ah. And it's tricky too because like the little the aerials on here, they look kinda like mealybugs too. Those little white spots. Oh man. And I'll probably ah get in there with my microscope too and see if I can see anything and I think last time again it was a while ago but not only I don't think I got rid of them all but I think I was just too like aggressive with treating it with like dish soap and water and all that and it was I don't know I don't even remember what time of year it was but it was probably either too hot or too cold <laughs> oh, meaning that it was plant itself was already like stressed from the temperatures so I'm starting to unpot it get all the soil off its roots I'm gonna take it out into the yard and uh, do my best just to, like hose it down as well as I can so there's just an ant right here and there was a mealybug right here so I'm going to watch the ants because I think they're gonna help me find some of the mealies there's one right here do that. Squish. Here. Where are they? Yeah, let's see what we can see with the microscope. This thing is super cool. I really, really like it. it connects to Wi Fi really quickly. It has a little app. In case you didn't know, ants farm mealybugs for their secretions. They're sweet, like nectar, and it's called honeydew, which is kind of disgusting. <laughs> but yeah, there it is, at least one of who knows how many. And it's gonna be quite the task to make sure this thing is totally clear, but it's worth it. Yeah, so after seeing this under a microscope. Um, I'm not even gonna like try with the tweezers first. I'm just gonna go straight to uh, water torture. I mean, um, spraying what I can down and trying to get as many as I can off. And that's gonna start with getting a lot of this soil off of here. And this really sucks because it's really hot out right now and it's not the best time to be aggressively Treating for pests, treating a cactus for anything, and I'm just mad and I'm hot. <laughs> you need to be pretty aggressive. See if that's sitting. What the heck? That's useless. Anything real hardcore. I got it really good, but I have no doubt that there's still mealy bugs in here somewhere. And I'm just gonna have to wait for them to show themselves, little mealy punks, mealy thugs. And um, I'm gonna keep this unpotted and I'll continue to inspect it under the microscope over the next few days. Treat it the same way with like a 
just blast it with water and hopefully I can get it cleared up and like I said I'm trashing the soil and the top dressing that was in there I know it's like precious stuff but it's not worth repotting and just spreading the problem yeah bum er bummer sorry bro As I mentioned, I'm keeping it unpotted, but I have the roots in a pot just to protect it from the sunlight because they were underground and we don't want them to like get stressed or burned while we leave the plant out waiting for mealybugs to pop up so we can bop them. And I think I see one right now. This is a really tricky plant to see everything that's going on. All right, it has been a little over 24 hours since we unpotted this guy, left him out, and I've inspected again under the microscope. I don't see anything, but I'm I'm just telling y'all like <laughs> with a the cactus like this with the density of the spines um there's there's probably always going to be something living down in there but at this point i feel pretty good about it it's definitely not like infested which is oh i'm just so glad i caught it like before it got crazy um I'm gonna go ahead and leave it out for another day and just pot it back up. And when you pot up a cactus, so you wanna use dry soil. And standard practice is to not water it for about two weeks. So I'm going to move it. It was in like really bright light. Um, even though it was east facing, it's still hot. So I'm gonna pot it up and I'll put it somewhere where it's not gonna get like blasted by the sun because I'm not gonna be able to water it for a while. I probably won't be able to, um, hold back from watering it for two weeks but I think I can do at least a week so today's Friday we're gonna aim for holding back until next Friday so that's it and wish me luck and now you know why it might be uh, a good idea to include a microscope in your collection the one that I have I'll link to in the video description it was like 40 bucks and I've had another one before that was a little cheaper and it definitely did not work as well and um, this one just like connects with this little app that just basically um, here I'll show you guys real quick so when you turn it on right that starts to send out a Wi-Fi signal and then in the app it's called I think Wi-Fi checker which is kind of a weird name for it but uh, you just select that you select the Wi-Fi name for this microscope and then you switch back to that and you're able to see like you can record videos you can take pictures um, you can zoom in there's a few cool things you can do with it I'm still experimenting with but um, I really I really had a lot of fun with this and you can like look at your skin and like weird stuff maybe you don't want to see that close up but um I've used it also like if I get like a glow kit or a spine stuck in my hand and I can't get it out um I can use this to see which direction like this the spine is in my finger or whatever and then I'm able to pull it out um in the correct direction instead of like shoving it in further um so yeah lots of good uses for this and at this point um like the tip right here is so that the spines are so dense it's like almost impossible to see all the way down to the skin but I'm just I'm gonna keep an eye out and yeah like I said I feel pretty good about it no doubt there's still some critter on there that I probably don't want on there but um, yeah I'm just gonna be vigilant and hope for the best all right guys thanks so much for watching